had no idea that the president took time to write me a letter and sign it. And the letter read somewhat like this. Dear Mr. Hooks, your country needs you. I'm honored to join you tonight to celebrate the life and legacy of my friend, Dr. Benjamin Hooks. For more than 50 years, he's used the incredible gifts God bestowed upon him to make the promise of America ring true in the lives of all our people. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know a change gonna come. Oh, yes it will. When one considers the life and accomplishments of Dr. Hooks, you just know that in that one story of his life, is the struggle for civil rights and equality exemplified. Obviously, Dr. Hooks has been an important part of America's political and civic service and public service landscape. When we talk about race relations in the United States, we often talk about how far we have to go. But when I think about Ben Hooks in 80 years, I really think about how far we've come. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know a change gonna come, oh yes it will. Anyone who's heard one of his sermons knows that Dr. Hooks can move the soul. I've heard him preach in his church, and I've heard him preach uh, at a dinner table, and I've heard him preach when I thought I was supposed to be the MC. He delivers his uh, sermons with a flair. I will feel the presence of God. Dr. Hooks has been at this for 50 plus years. Well, I think he preaches all of the time. I mean, he may come with a serious message about continuing the struggle for equality and opportunity and justice, uh, but he doesn't beat you over the head with it. He presents it to you and expects people of good faith to reach out and take it. He became the first African-American judge to serve in the state. When Dr. Hooks was appointed the first black judge, I'm sure many of the lawyers did not want to go before him, especially if they had a history of racism behind them. His service on the bench brought a new understanding of uh, the fact that law should be colorblind. He had the same mentality as President Mandela. Yes, I've been discriminated against. It's been systemic. But in the final analysis, what is important is for me to carry out the constitution of our state. As the first African-American member of the Federal Communications Commission, he worked to increase minority ownership in television and radio broadcasting, and to ensure that more African-American faces and stories were seen on television. Temporary layoffs. Can't we stretch our budget? Can't we ain't got no budget. What Ben and I both felt uh, is that uh, we have a diverse society and we need to have a diverse industry. Minorities increased significantly. I think it was from 3% to 15%. I know Ben was very proud of that and, and frankly I was too. That kind of approach demonstrated itself when he was head of the NAACP. Well Ben Hook's 15 year career as president and CEO of the NAACP was historical. An interesting time for, for advancement for African Americans in corporate America. I'm back! I'm back! When Ben Hooks headed the NAACP, the organization grew. He recruited nearly one million new members and led the fight for voting rights and civil rights. Dr. Hooks was a leader in, in opening doors and making sure that young people, especially people like myself from the Deep South, had an opportunity to serve. And that's, I think, was that, that was one of his greatest legacies. That rally in New York at the UN against apartheid was instrumental in getting the United States Congress, both Democrat and Republican, to support sanctions on South Africa to put an end to apartheid. It's important, especially for the young blacks, to understand the sacrifice and the suffering that has gone on in this country, that many black Americans Americans have made for them to enjoy the freedoms that they have today. Had it not been for an organization like the NAACP, uh, we wouldn't be sitting here as, as uh, equal citizens today. 
I, I particularly like the power behind, the real power behind the Ben Hooks throw, and that was Frances Hooks. Frances is a wonderful woman. I really love Frances a lot. Of course, Mrs. Hooks became the uh, primary unpaid employee at the NACP. Even today at 80 years young, when he could be enjoying a well-deserved retirement, Dr. Hooks continues to serve our nation by working with the Children's Health Forum to eliminate the threat of lead poisoning, which disproportionately affects poor children and children of color. In 2002, uh, Ben became the chair and asked me to be his co-chair of the Children's Health Forum, which has done magnificent work. It is clear to us that the people who are affected most by lead poisoning in this country are people living in urban areas, basically black and Hispanic children. El dueño empezó a arreglar un poco lo del techo. If they're exposed to lead poisoning during that period of time, it has a devastating effect on their brains, their ability to learn. She's not speaking like a normal two-year-old child. She has problems with her speech. And it affects them for the rest of their lives. Because there's no cure. We've got to prevent it. And that's where this battle has got to be fought. Children's Health Forum probably will be one of the best places to really get info on the preventions and ways to eliminate lead poisoning. We feel very good about the approach and the, the results that we have, but we still have some more work to be done. Tonight we honor your legacy with renewed spirit and commitment to fighting for justice and fairness throughout this nation. And then when I look back at where I've come from, look back at what God has done for me, I just want to say thank you. Change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. The country's been fortunate to have him. My life has been touched by your actions. I want to wish a great American happy 80th birthday. Thank you for what you've done. Happy 80th birthday. I want to wish the best to you and Francis. We love you and God bless you, sir. You are a quarterback. But don't think you can rest just because you're 80. I'm proud you're my friend. My life was graced by knowing you, and the life of our nation has been graced by yours. If it wasn't for people like you, I wouldn't be in this office I'm in right now and doing the things that I do. I think to myself. Most importantly, man, happy birthday. What a wonderful.